before we get into the video people I am giving away 11,500 Apex coins every month to be in with a chance of winning them make sure you are subscribed to this channel and have that bell notification button ticked drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below more details are in the video description what is going on guys welcome back to the channel and I do appreciate you being here today I bring you another Apex Legends video and today guys I want to talk about the game as a whole as a franchise I am seeing a lot of comments on Apex Legends all over social media, Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, absolutely everywhere. People saying that Apex Legends is dead. So is it? Is Apex Legends dead? Today I'll give you guys my honest opinion. So over the past month or so, I have seen a game which took the world by storm slowly fall into a place many think of no return. So what's actually happened? Why has this happened and what can be done to revive said game? Well firstly I think Respawn were kind of taken back when they released Apex Legends. The game took the world by storm. So did our reaction to Respawn. I honestly don't feel Respawn thought the game would take off the way it did. Now here is where I feel the issues are which are directly affecting Apex Legends as a whole. Respawn are a relatively small company when you compare them to some of the A plus game developers out there nowadays. Back in the day when they were a part of something huge in being the co-founders of Infinity War, known for amazing games like Modern Warfare 2, back then they were a part of something big, but many years since then passed before they developed their own game. So when they split, we didn't hear from them for years, I think it was like 4 or 5 years. Then we saw a new title emerge called Titanfall, which was published by EA, who have since gone on to publish most respawn games besides the Titanfall release on mobile devices. The first Titanfall game came out in 2014, which at the time was seriously a game of its own era. It was revolutionary, and unless at the time of its release you played it, you probably won't understand. Titanfall came out two years later in 2016. This game was also amazing, a truly revolutionary game, much like the first. Many said at the time that the only issue the game had which stopped it from being a game it deserved to be was its release window. Titanfall 2 released more or less at the same time as the titans of FPS shooters both released their games, Battlefield and Call of Duty. And many believe this helped bury Titanfall 2, a game which really wasn't very popular trying to push into the space of two games which already have massive followings. It was truly doomed to fail. The problem was, this date was locked in by EA, so there was no getting around it. Respawn had to try and compete with Battlefield 1 and Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, which was never going to really work in the long run. Despite this, though, Titanfall 2 was still an amazing game, and to me, at the time, I chose to play this over both Call of Duty and Battlefield, as in my opinion, it was the much better game and way more of a fluid game. If you have Titanfall 2 now, go give it a try. It is still more fluid than 99% of games being released online now are. The only game I feel is just as fluid is Respawn's new title of Apex Legends. So these guys can definitely develop a good game, a solid game. But yeah, at the time Titanfall 2 was a great game and it was never going to be as popular as Call of Duty or Battlefield, but it still stood tall. What in my opinion ended up letting Titanfall down as it was gaining some traction was indeed content. Same in my opinion happened to Titanfall 1. It died via lack of content. Both games were great, both games played amazingly well and were super fluid, both felt incredible for their time, but the reason in my opinion these games died a slow death was because there was just no decent content added for some crazy time afterwards. While you know Battlefield and Call of Duty always have their roadmaps going forward, people know what they were getting, there was nothing in sight for Titanfall. I remember going back to Titanfall some time later and thinking why wasn't this stuff added earlier? Problem is it was way too late by then it had already failed. It was doomed due to its release window, but when you've got other games which it's trying to keep up with, releasing fresh content and this isn't, it's just bound to fail. Turn the tables to 2019 and what do we have people? We have an amazing game in Apex Legends, one that plays arguably smoother and more fluid than any other game in its genre, but a game made by a company known for past mistakes of not keeping a game fresh and keeping its players on their heels. I remember a few months back Respawn announcing 50 million players, getting 10 million players within the first few days of its release. Crazy numbers guys, and it's these numbers in my opinion which directly affected Respawn and Apex Legends going forward. 
Respawn had no doubt been preparing Apex Legends for a long while. Games like Shroud for months now have been saying they've already experienced new legends like Watson way back when, who are yet to even make an appearance in the game. So the game's been in development for some time, and what's happened in my opinion is, Respawn like I said did not expect the numbers to be as crazy high as they were player base wise. They already created the game and a battle pass to follow, which is the battle pass we got with season 1. And this was the problem, I think season 1 and it's battle pass was already made content because of folks like Shroud that had already played with Legends not in the game yet and this was months before the game's release, it tells you how much content they had already planned. I don't think at all season 1 and the season 1 battle pass was content made post of release of the game. It's content made based on what they expected the game to achieve and that wasn't much. But they were very wrong indeed. Season 1 was no doubt an enormous letdown. Nobody will argue with that. Respawn have seen the impact it had on us, the impact it had on the community, the impact it's had on players playing the game moving forward. But is the game dead? Is Apex Legends finished? Can it be revived? I'd say yes, 100% it can be. Now I don't want to compare Apex Legends to Fortnite or any other Battle Royale game as this isn't about them. But let me reassure you guys of one thing, Fortnite was not established overnight, that game made many many wrong turns before it got itself on the straight and narrow. The issue is people compare the two because it's what we have, battle royale games will compete with other battle royale games, whether one's 3 months old and the other one's 2 years old, it's what we have right now, so we will compare them. Fortnite is seriously set, expectations really high for any other battle royale game, it is what it is. So if a game's two months old or a game's three years old, if they're out right now and people are playing both, they will always be compared to one another. Apex Legends, in my opinion, has one more chance going forward and that is Season 2. Now I actually believe we should have received new additions by now. I believe we should have got new features by now. And I think they were planned by Respawn going into the first season, Season 1. But seeing the uproar by the community on Season 1 and how it's failed to impress has made Respawn revise on what they had planned. I feel Season 2 will be a revised version of what was going to be and what we now want to see. In my opinion it's Respawn's last chance on Apex Legends. The game is relatively new. The game does have a massive future. It should have a massive future. It has a massive following and it has massive potential. Season 2 must deliver on expectations or it will be doomed. It can't last much longer without new content, it is slowly falling apart, but a fresh rejuvenation of new features will save the game if done right and let's hope that's what we get from Respawn at E3 this year when they take centre stage to show us what the future of the game beholds. But we will see people. So no, in my opinion Apex Legends is not dead, not quite yet, it has a chance at redemption, let's hope it redeems itself indeed. But guys, let me know what you think about this down below within that comment section. Do you think Apex Legends is dead? Do you think it's too late to revive the game? Let me know. Me personally, although I ain't played the game in about 2 or 3 weeks, I still don't think it's over yet. Now I've made a video on things Season 2 needs and the Season 2 Battle Pass needs. If you want to check that out, you'll find it linked within the video description. I stand by that and the statements I make in that video. Season 2 needs to be more than just a level 1 to 110 Battle Pass. We need weekly or daily challenges for us to do. We need things to chase more than things that we're finding loot boxes from the previous season. We need much, much more than what we got with the Season 1 battle pass and it is as simple as that and like I said E3 2019 I think it's June 11th Respawn will be on stage showing us the future of Apex Legends let's hope then which isn't too far away we see what we believe this game needs but on that note guys we have come to the end of the video if you guys enjoyed it even a like really does help out if you're new around here and enjoy Apex Legends videos be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video I upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button but guys thanks as always for stopping by hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one